Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is John Fry, the curator of the Western Maryland Room in Washington County Free Library in Hagerstown. John, could you just give us a brief introduction to the Western Maryland Room for those who don't know it? Basically, the Western Maryland Room uh, contains materials about written here or published here for the uh, counties in Maryland from Carroll County west to Garrett and the adjacent counties in the other states. Thank you. And the reason we're interviewing you today is because you have now worked at the Washington County, sorry, Washington County Free Library for 50 years. Uh, that is quite an accomplishment, and we wanted to record this moment. Could you tell us how you started with the library? I was here hoping to set up an exhibit by an artist named Gornet Jex of Civil War material in the what was then our second library. And uh, the director at that time, Ed Hall, came out and talked to us, said he wanted to open the Western Maryland Room, which they at that time called the Maryland Room, and that he had tried it with volunteers. It didn't work. Did I know anyone that might do it if there was pay involved? And it was about three hours a week, I think, on Saturday. I didn't work on Saturday. A mother job was available and said, well, I'll give it a try. I think the pay was like $2.10 an hour, but uh, uh, it was payable, and uh, that's how we opened the room. And from there? Well, from there, uh, the first thing I remember he told me to do, he said, we do not want to be a Maryland room. Uh, we're not worried about covering the Southern Maryland, Eastern Shore, or the Bay Area. So how about just being Western Maryland? And I thought that sounded like a good idea. So he had me weed out the few materials that were here relative to the other portion of Maryland and keep what was basically uh, in the Western Maryland area, which was very, very little. And uh, that's how we began the collection. And in your 50 years of work here, how have you seen the collection grow? Well, at that time, I suppose, till I pulled out the non-Western Maryland books, we were probably down to like 150, 200 books, and that was it. No vertical file, no photographs. Basically, uh, William Sister, Washington County. And Sharp as well, correct? Oh, yeah, Sharp was here too, yeah. <laughs> okay. And where has this incredible collection of Western Maryland material come from? Well, he did say that what came in or what went out would be up to me, and so I began to watch all sources. And at that time, there were a lot of sources that uh, were available. Uh, historical groups were selling their historical collections, and. I, had, I got onto the mailing list and uh, watched what might be available and uh, would bid on it if uh, it were available. And many times we did get the product, so that's how we began to up the collection from the, on the rare material. And then we carefully watched anything that would be coming out uh, on a new, as a new publication, either about or written by someone here. So that's how we began, and uh, I suppose now we probably have close to 15,000 uh, manuscripts, books, uh, in, and that doesn't count the vertical file material. And family history? Yeah, um, uh, one of the things he did tell me is we do not want the Western Maryland Room to be a genealogical library, and prior to that time there was nothing in the room uh, relating to genealogy. Um, I knew that one of the uses of, uses of the room would be family research, and so I started using the words family research instead of genealogy, 
and uh, quietly began to uh, collect books that would have been used by persons doing genealogy. So that's how we did get into the genealogy status, but we still are not a genealogical library. We have a lot of material available for uh, family researchers to use. Uh, we do not buy genealogies. If someone will give us one, we'll take it. Uh, we still only buy source material for genealogy. You never know what kind of question we're going to get. We never know what kind of public person we're going to work with. It could be anywhere from the President of the United States to one of these people that sleep, slept last night out on the street. We, we work for all of them. So, it, it's, to me, it's not sure the individual is doing their job. And the individual is not gaining anything personally from it. But we're a service just like doctors and lawyers. And uh, so we'll fade, we're gone. But what we do won't. And it's the same way, what, you've, what you have put on the internet is there. Long after you're gone, people will be using that. They're not gonna know Jill Craig did it, nor are they gonna know that what I did here Somebody else is going to come along, hopefully we'll continue to do what we do. But it, it basically it's not about the individual. I don't care how important Donald Trump thinks he is. It's not about Donald Trump as being president of the United States is what matters. And he will not be judged because he's Donald Trump, thank goodness. Well, he's, he's going to be judged because of what he does as president of the United States. So. It's, it's not about us. And, and even though there are a lot of people that think it's about them, it is not. Don't care what you do. People that write for the paper. Right now there are big shots. People you read, buy so-and-so. 20 years from now, somebody reads that, that name, that who wrote it won't mean nothing. It's what they wrote that counts. And so, that's why I, I, I can't, uh, sure, I'm, I'm lucky to have lived to be here 50 years. A lot of people don't live that long. But uh, it, it's not about, and never has been about, John Fry, I don't think. And so it's, it's hard to, sure, you can go in your personal life, you can go into your kids, you can go in your family, what's your family doing? And uh, that's good. I'm proud of my family. My family's done very well. Uh, took her on down to the great grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, and they're doing they're doing well. But uh, it, it's it's still individually each one of those persons has to do their own thing, find their own niche, decide what they want to do for humanity, and even though they may think it's for themselves, it's not.